Hey guys, Kev here, and I have this package to unbox. So this comes by way of USA Made Blade, apparently. And uh, I think this is one of Josh Worth's items that he bought, probably. And I just get to check it out. It is the Ranch 3V Bowie Stonewash Burgundy Micarta, and it's huge, so I don't know what this thing is. Sounds hindery to me. Hinderish. Oh, cut real easy. That's nice. Using the growler. Ugh. Yep. So is this a fixed blade? It's a fixed blade. Using the uh, Devo Knives Growler. Uh, definitely slicing machine up in here. So let's see. That kind of came off, but let me just do that. Okay, got a lot of stuff going on here. USA Made Blade. USA Made Blade. Half Track. USA made blade. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, yeah, it looks like a fixed blade. Let's get that out of here. Some more stickers. 35 years of Hindi's. You got a hand assembled and tuned by somebody card. Cool. It's got a China smell. Interesting. I'm not, that wasn't me trying to say they make these in China, but it just, it gave me that smell. So maybe it's not a China thing. Maybe it's just a bubble wrap thing, you know, and they all smell like the same. I don't know. So this thing is massive. This is the ranch, I think we said, in 3V. Bowie. That is some gnarly shit, Josh. I don't know what you're doing, man. I don't know what you're doing, man. Look at this thing. 3B Bowie. Ooh, that's thin, too. I mean, okay, it's not thin, but it's feels way thinner than I thought it would. And it's super comfortable in hand. You even get a finger choil here. So you can... You're on the ranch. I don't know what you're doing on the ranch with this thing, but that's dope. Sorry, I got a little bit of my oils on there, but to be expected. Some kind of purpley uh, micarta or something, G10. And then you get a sheath, which I guess I get to inaugural late. So I do like that they don't ship it in the sheath because if you guys saw my unboxing of the Hoback um, machete, the... Um, the, am I supposed to keep going? I'm just trying to be careful here. I think it goes to right about there, right? Does that look right? Yeah, I think that's about right. And then, well, you can't get the strap on. There you can. It's strap on. There you go. Nice sheath. And you can put this through your belt right here when you're on the ranch. Doing your ranching. And it's, uh, it's actually a pretty nice sheath. That's nicely made. Good stuff. Um, so this is a Hinder Bowie. Ran the Ranch 3V Bowie Stonewash. Burgundy Micarta. There you go. I read that already. But 3V is interesting. I mean, it's tough. But you got to be careful that you don't rust it, I guess. Pop that off. This will all break in as you go, obviously. Normally, you'd be right-handed, so you'd be grabbing it like this. Pull it out. And then you go to town with it. I wonder what he spent on this. This is probably like a $400 fucking fixed blade. Let's see. Oh, it just tells you how... It just tells you one of one or whatever. It doesn't tell you how much. My guess is... 350 for this but i could be wrong maybe it's 250 uh, but that's not horrible i mean think about it i oh shit Kev. i have three of these right i have three of these and this right here is 
a 200 and oh, this one's just getting uh molded it's been in there for like three days now um this one's 200 and what is it what did i spend on it 235 i think for this stonewash version that's machine ground so you have let me just make sure i get it back in right while it's molding <laughs> that needs a little more right there we go um but yeah so this is yeah and i sliced right through there again man it's so hard not to do though to be honest to not cut into that area right there i mean i did it on this one hold on show you. i did it on that one I mean, how are you not supposed to do that when you're, like, molding it? You know what I mean? This one. Oh, yeah, I got it. I think I got it a little bit on this one, too. This one seems to fit. It just popped right in. This one pops right in. This one, I mean, it's the first time I'm kind of using it. But let me see. Am I slicing that area? Is that why it's feels weird going in this one but maybe it's just because i haven't used it at all how else do you do it do you slide up along the top and then because then you hit a wall so then you got to come down and then look it got it goes right into that slot where it starts cutting so i don't know what else to do I'll probably just keep doing it, and it'll cut that spot into, you know, it'll just be part of the sheet. I guess. Yeah, I don't know. Still sharp, so. Anyway, sorry. Uh, <laughs> just do it like that. I don't know. Seems like a good fit. Um, but yeah, so these are 235 to 240, right? Like I think I paid 240 for this one cause it's a hand ground belt satin or whatever. Um, but you add the sheath, which is 85 bucks from Oak city leather works. You're over $300, right? You're at like $320 for these. I have three of those. So how much is this? You get a huge chunk of whatever it is made in the U.S. Same thing on a machine by a person, probably just like um, the chickadee there. That's the J uh, Jacob creates chickadee, by the way. Um, so you get all that. And so if this costs 300 bucks with the sheath and everything kind of makes sense to me. Honestly, it's obviously on a larger, you know, scale than the chickadee, but I don't know. I feel like we bitch about prices and then you know you bitch about price here's the thing right let's see does this go further i think i have it as far as it's supposed to go let me just because i give it that extra little push there it goes i don't i don't know if you're supposed to i don't want to break through the leather or fuck it up or anything but i think that's right um we bitch about prices like that, but then you get, you know, you get the stuff that costs nothing and it's shit. <laughs> so, you know, you get what you pay for most of the time, I'd say. And like, if you go back to this, I feel like you get a lot for your money on this. Yeah, it's small for sure. But other than that, you get a really nice grind. You get, let's see, clean off my sheath gunk. Um, you get a really nice grind. You get really nice handle scales. I mean, it's simple, but it's full tang. It's, I don't know, it's just constructed really well. And then you add this sheath, which is amazingly built, in my opinion, by uh, Oak City Leatherworks. And that whole package is totally worth it to me. Uh, I'm going to keep messing with this until I feel like I'm getting it in there easy. There we go. Now it's just rocking. I think it's just me being a pussy you know there you go so i love this natural by the way with the black it looks sick um 
But yeah, so this looks well made. It looks cool. So that's the Hinderer Rancher, or Ranch, sorry, handcrafted in the United States. Boom, there you go. It says WH. So maybe they don't do their own um, sheets, which is cool. So they outsource that. So that adds cost, obviously. And uh, yeah, there you go. So here's some Hinderer stuff. Half track and USA made blade. Check out their website. They obviously only have USA made stuff, at least that they know of. Um, and uh, yeah, check it out. So Josh, I'll get this off to you with, you know, whatever other stuff you happen to have. So love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.